Hi kids, it's great to be with you again to read another story. This story asks a really interesting question, one I have wondered about myself. Why do we say good night? That's a really good question. What does that mean to say good night? So let's listen to how this author, his name is Champ Thornton, how he tells us what that means. Why do we say good night? He starts his book with a reading from a psalm in the Bible, and it's Psalm 4, 8. And it says, in peace I will lie down and sleep. Lord, you alone keep me safe. So let's think about that as we're reading the story. So I hope you enjoy it. When nighttime comes and no more light, you get in bed. We say, good night. But when it's dark and I can't see, why do you say good night to me? It's not the same when there's no light. The dark's not good. I don't like night. I'm glad you told me how you feel, but stop to think, what else is real? The Lord made day, the Lord made night. So even dark is good and right. you can't see when dark surrounds. What is that shape? What is that sound? Yet God sees all. His sight's not dim. The dark is like bright light to him. So when it's dark, with perfect sight, our God is watching through the night. But I'm so scared when you're away. Can night be good, just like you say? Yes, God can see when you're in bed when scary things run through your head. But there is more for you to hear. We say good night, because God is near. Just like a shepherd guards his sheep, the Lord protects when we're asleep. Please help me, Lord, to trust in you for all you are and all you do. Lord, you made night and you can see. You're the shepherd who cares for me. Since God is with you in the night, since he made nighttime good and right, since God can see without the light, all this is why we say good night. Good night, dear one. You need not fear. Good night. Sleep well, the Lord is here. Good night. Mmm, what a good story. Some of you might be afraid of the dark or of going to sleep at night. And when you are, think, think.
think about that story, God can see even in the dark and he can always, always see you and take care of you and protect you. That's the God that we love, the God that we know because we trust him. So I've added right here on this, with this story, uh, a song that you can be thinking about and doing the actions for. It's another song that we'll be doing together when we come back together face to face and worship together on Sundays and on Wednesday nights. And so, some of the words in this song are really good. This is what they say. I'm trusting you, God. You are good. That's the message we need to hear. That's the message our author, Champ Thornton, gives us. God, you are good. I trust you and you will take care of me in the day, and in the daylight and in the nighttime, in the light and in the dark, because you see everything. So I hope you enjoyed the story. It's a short one, but it has a really good message. Listen to the story with your family. Um, think about what it means to you and at nighttime, sometimes when you're scared, maybe this is a reminder to you that God is near, always, always with you. I can't wait to see you face to face, cuddled up in this room and in our other Sunday and Wednesday evening rooms, gathering together, worshiping together and learning about Jesus, the Lord that we love. So stay safe, stay well, I can't wait to see you, and until next time, kids, bye-bye.